recordings. Now it can also record from its two combo jacks at the bottom of the unit. They're special jacks that can take either a quarter inch line input, say like this guy for a, say a synth or a drum machine, maybe a high Z source like a guitar, or that same connector can bring in a balanced XLR cable like this one. So you can record from high quality microphones, including studio condensers like this one that require phantom power. More on phantom power later. Now, H4N records using smart media cards that just slot in the side right here, up to a whopping 32 gigabytes, which would give you about two days of CD quality recordings. Now, on the back, it has a built-in speaker along with battery power. Now, if you want to conserve power, you can plug in an AC adapter right on the bottom here. Now, recording is just as easy as selecting the input, hitting record, setting your levels using the buttons along the side, and then hitting record again to begin recording. But most of the goodies that aren't so obvious are underneath the menu button on the right hand side of the unit. Simply press the menu button and then you can scroll through the options using the scroll wheel.